Our story begins in the Philippines in 1973, a time defined by a global oil crisis. The nation saw an energy independence, and the government, led by Ferdinand Marcos, saw a high-tech solution, nuclear power. The engineering behind the Bataan nuclear power plant was, on paper, impressive. Construction began in 1976, but the project was immediately plagued with problems. The initial budget of around 500 million U.S. dollars began to swell uncontrollably, but the financial issues hid a much deadlier problem. A safety inquiry prompted by the 1979 Three Mile Island accident in the United States uncovered over 4,000 defects in the plant's construction, from faulty welding to substandard cabling and pipes. By the time the plant was completed in 1984, the world was changing. The new government, facing a mountain of debt for a plant with thousands of defects sitting on an earthquake fault, decided to mothball it permanently. Today, it sits in a state of preserved decay, costing millions each year to maintain, a silent monument to a multi-billion dollar miscalculation.